<laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> That's incredible! I can't believe it! <laughs> right, here's what we've got coming up today. James Martin is serving up both sweet and savoury with his fish fingers and chocolate puddings. Uh, not at the same time. <laughs> not at the same time. Uh, we're going to do, uh, yeah, fish fingers. We've got some beautiful fresh fish that's just come in. Are you making the fish fingers? Yes. Hmm. It would be a lot easier if I just defrosted well, them, to be honest with you. <laughs> My whole life would be a lot easier if I just went to the freezer and just defrosted everything. <laughs> because that... I don't know how you fill eight minutes with yeah. you take them out the freezer. Uh, and to we follow that, I'm going to do a microwave sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. Quite right, as you were. <laughs> Thank you, James. Uh, all for today. Good start of the week, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now that the children are back at school, it's the perfect time to take the plunge and get your bathroom sparkling again. Our Queen of Clean, Lindsay Crombie, has some handy hacks you need. Hi, Lindsay. Morning, guys. Time for a juicy lemon. I'm going to be shining up the shower this morning using a lemon. Okie dokie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What do you think? For the best, best bit for bit? today. Well, I tell you what, it's hard to beat chocolate fondant today. It is hard to I beat. I have to say because that was absolutely delicious. Do you want to pick the best bit? What do you no, want? No, I've been top trumped by a pea and seal. I, I know what I know. The pea and seal. Pea and seal. There I, you go. I think you're and right. I've learned so much on the show as well. I, I learned how to get brown bits out of a bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, but the pea and seal did it. There's the, there's the pea and seal. There it is. They always wait till they're live on our show to do it. Let's zoom in. Yeah. Marvelous. On this show. <laughs> animals and urinate. It's a very relaxed that's way to go into the toilet, isn't it? Just and we light. zoomed the poor animals having a wee on the riverbank. <laughs> and we zoom. And we zoom in. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. That's a highlight. Uh, Half past four, I got up to make fondants. <laughs> no, it's still the peeing seal. <laughs> 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 uh, See you later. What are you doing next week? Uh, Muscles. You just, we just Muscles. had this chat. I'm just giving him the opportunity because we're doing it. Oh, right. right. yeah. yeah. right. yeah. yeah. right. yeah. yeah. still recording. We weren't, right. we weren't recording when I asked <laughs> him the first time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do thought... Mill Marinier. Mill Marinier. Yeah, and I'm going to do Fish Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Taken to another level out of a box. Straight out the freezer. Unbelievable. Thank you, James. Well, best fit for today. We were quite excited about this. We, we've been thinking about nothing else since yesterday, quite frankly. Sort of anticipation and then disappointment. Yeah, so we, we learnt how to milk a horse. Josie went to a farm and milked a horse. She tried the milk. She said it was very nice, very sweet, very Open nice. Open she said almost. She did. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting. Uh, and then we were going to try some. And we weren't going to try some. Phil was going to try some. So the, the milk was on its way up the M5. Well, we had some yesterday. We had Is it arriving milk. now? Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> running up the ring oh road. Oh, boy. Hold fire. <laughs> um, we had some milk yesterday. And uh, someone who is remaining nameless uh, in human error, the milk that we were supposed to use at the beginning of the programme, they tipped down the sink because <laughs> it wasn't labelled properly. It who wasn't was me. It? it wasn't me. Julia, Julia. You've just from, named and shamed kitchen, Julia from the kitchen. Well, Julia's not in no way. She's so safety conscious. No way she's going to have a little bottle of something unlabeled mm -hmm. in her kitchen. I'm, I'm in team Julia, quite frankly. Hey, what? I'm in team Julia. I'm like pouring. No, down no, the me sink. too, because because she's very safety conscious. Although she did throw away something <laughs> that was vital to the show. So we had to get some emergency milk from down the uh, from down the farm, and the, it the never M5. arrived. Yeah, never no. arrived. Still not, not, still not here. And. They've been chasing it so much throughout this show that the courier company has now blocked our number. <laughs> this is how badly we wanted it. We were desperate. Yeah. So maybe we, if we put it in the fridge and if Julie doesn't chuck it out, maybe we'll have it tomorrow morning and we can actually do say three we, days of... When uh, you change that to I. Oh, not, you, you'd have a taste. No. No way. Dip your finger no in. No way. <laughs> Just dip your finger I in. I don't want to. I don't want to try it. Your little finger. I don't want to try it. Your little finger. I don't want to try it. I don't need to try it. I don't need to try it, but I'm quite interested. Well, there you go. You have an interest. I have Zilk. <laughs> <laughs> well, before you can enjoy an Irish feast, we've got something else that you've got to try first. Of course, the music's a, a little clue there. Black Beauty has been milked. Oh! <laughs> and there it is, in all its glory. Yesterday, uh, Josie went to meet a farmer called Frank who's the first farmer in the UK to commercially produce horse milk. Apparently, 
32 million people around the world drink horses' milk, and there's many health benefits. So have a little sniff. Well, we, we had some of the milk in the studio yesterday, but it was misplaced. It was accidentally poured down the sink. Uh, so some more uh, by Julia, who's over there. She'll never be on TV. She always hides. She always, from the minute you see her, she runs. She's in charge. There's the door. She's in charge of the kitchen. She does this most incredible. She's very, very tidy. She doesn't like anything in there that's unlabeled. You know, she's health conscious, the whole thing. So she saw it and thought, I don't know what that is. Straight down the sink. So we had to get more couriered up. And, uh, and so here it, here it is. is. Have a little sniff then, I can tell you. It's got, it's low in fat, high in vitamin C. Apparently, Frank says, uh, his daughter Alison suffered from eczema, tried a skin cream made from the product and it really, really helped. Uh, researchers from Kazakhstan, where the drink is hugely popular, said horse milk can help reduce the risk of cancer. It has got an odd smell. It smells a horse. No, it's always smells like... What's it smell of then? She said coconut, Josie, yesterday. <sighs> no, it's like... Oh, I can't swallow. It's like salmon. It's got fishy horse. Sort of fishy horse. Oh, stop it. Go on, <laughs> Go on, get it down, get it down. I See, I don't like milk get at, it the down. at the best of times. I, I've got, I drink oat milk. Oh, my God, what are you doing then? Why are you doing this? I said no. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> don't like that. What does it taste of? It is sort of coconut, but it's quite watery. It's got a bit of an odd feel to it. A bit of a strange taste. Cool, your eyes are watering. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 Does it taste like milk? It's got a bit of an aftertaste. Does it taste like milk? Not really. We're not into the horse milk thing at the I'm moment. I'm not into that, and I'm sure there are many people who are. There are, in Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, there you go. <laughs> Best bit for a Wednesday, it's St Patrick's Day, and um, it was the theme throughout the show. Yeah, so Cloda was cooking up a storm, so we had some delicious, that, uh, that Irish, um, the, the chowder thing was just so delicious, and then she made an Irish tiramisu, which was amazing. Irish we... coffee to finish the uh, the show, yes. which is still warming up my cockles. But some of the performances we had today, the boys, the friends, the Irish friends all got together and they were doing the traditional Irish dance but to more modern music. That was a bit magic. In the most beautiful backdrop yeah. we've ever seen on a lucky, lucky weather day, which is amazing. Then Bewitched. Then Bewitched, which I love. And then you loved, yeah. I couldn't quite get over that. That was amazing. And then what happens is we phone Isabel on Spin to Win who is Irish yeah. and who wins the jackpot and is one of our best winners ever. I know. Luck of the Irish all round today. That is for real. Yeah, enjoy your St Patrick's Day. Half the morning, dude. That's the Yay! one! Yay! Well done! Who's that? Oh, my God, this is Lou. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, you Isabel, got... Isabel! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to you. Yay! 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 <laughs> That's incredible! I can't believe it! So where's the three? I know, where is it? There it is, there it there's is, there There's the three. It it's possible. It's possible. Oh, my God, it is. Or it might be a bit fast. Is it possible? Is it... Oh, 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 oh! It's a jackpot! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe... You literally can write. You just won three grand, Isabel. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Quite funny, actually, that we are doing best bits. We've just finished the show. Did I... 30 seconds ago, and so the last, last item is in front of us, which just happened to be cocktails in a can. I'm starting so, to like, um, um, I know I like margaritas, I'm starting to like Bloody Mary's. My Bloody Mary is my drink of choice if I'm ever at an airport. Same I like fan. a, I like a yeah, is it? Yeah. I like a Bloody Mary that at an airport. That is spicy though, but I like it. Funny old straw they put in it though, that doesn't work. <laughs> I couldn't get a thing out there. <laughs> um, so, uh, so that, but that's not going to be. Hey! <laughs> we're on all week. <laughs> Actually, we're not, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> we're not on till Monday. Yeah. Book your tickets now. Um, what, um, what is best your best bit? bit? Uh, what about, what about. Oh, uh, what, the wallaby. The kangaroo. <laughs> Oh my God. That's amazing how quickly it kicked in. <laughs> it did, didn't it? It kicked in that really quick. really worked. Uh, the Kangaroo, you're quite yeah. right. What was his name? Uh, he was called <laughs> Rufus. Rufus. 
Rufus the kangaroo, we should explain. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed how quickly that's gone and hit the spot. We did drink them quite quickly. We did, we did, we did. All However, uh, Rufus the kangaroo, they're in Australia and uh, there is a, like a kangaroo sanctuary. Shut up, I'm doing my best. A kangaroo sanctuary and this kangaroo, they brought it up from a little joey um, and they went out with all the other kangaroos that they brought up, but this one knocks at half past five to six o'clock every day, knocks to be let in. I don't he comes think he in. knocks on the door. He does. does he? he does, he knocks. You just made that up. No, I didn't, he knocks. Don't they see him coming in the He knocks, he goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does do he that. He does, and he, he knocks, and he goes, uh, it's all right if I come in. And they say, yes, it is, it is. And he says, uh, can I lie on the sofa? And they say, yes, you can. <laughs> and he comes in, and he lies on the sofa, and here he is, oh, lying on the is. sofa. Daddy's got some grapes. I mean, he needs... <laughs> he's going to have just some grapes there. I mean, he needs some pants on. If you're going to watch the football, put your pants on. I think we've had to blur that out. <laughs> Nobody wants kangaroo crackers on their sofa. That's for sure. Anyway, there you go. That's our best bit. Have a lovely oh day. Gosh, Goodbye yeah. now. Good eye. You good eye. <laughs>